Good afternoon, everyone. Um, today we're here with two upcoming artists, um, Mark Eli Moda and also Sarah Dia Moda. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, these two grew up in Somerville, two Haitians. Um, right now we're here to talk a little bit about um, what they're hoping to get out of their career as artists. So, um, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Hey, hi. My name is Mark. Early modern, like to you know. I came from Haiti, grew up in Haiti, um, Port au Prince. And then I came here, like I said, five years ago, living with my mom and my sisters, my brother. And also, um, I'm an artist. I grew up, I grew up like it's a gift from God, basically. Um, I went, um, I went to Bon Hill. And this year, I'm stopped a little bit, but I'm gonna go back again, still um, to do my career, what art. And also, I work, I do a couple of jobs, but I don't really have like professional one, like stop like, one, but I do a couple of them. And right now, uh, I'm just working hard every day, still practicing my skills as an artist. And then, that's it for now. Missa. Hello, everyone. My name is Sarah Dia, but everyone call me Sarah. That's a short for Sarah Dia. And I was born in Haiti, and I come here. I've been here five years now. And I go to Somerville High School. I'm a senior, my last year. Yay. <laughs> and that must be exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to leave. <laughs> And after high school, I'm thinking of going to college, four years college, yes. And I sing, yes. I sing with groups in school, in youths in school, in at church, and too many things from side to side. And yeah, it's a little bit for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mark, so you do um, abstract painting, right? Yeah, most likely I'm considering an abstract. Can you tell us a little bit about your work and what inspired you to do focus mo mostly on um, abstract? I like that question. So um, the thing is, if I, I think about abstract is because abstract is something like people really barely understand it, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of person basically people barely understand me. Basically, what the way I came, uh, I came from, and the way I am today. So I, um, I focus on abstract because it's an easy, easy way to explain yourself about your artwork. People sing different way, or people write in different way. But I choose the paintings on my way. I choose abstract because that's, you, you find a lot of detail, explanation about yourself. That's why I, I stay on abstract. And then when you do an abstract, you think, oh, I'm gonna do something. I'm talking about my life, or I'm talking about the universe, or nature. And then you just paint something like a nature. People say, oh, what are you doing? I don't see eyes, I don't see trees. But inside the paint, you see a lot of other nature things. If you talk about nature, or example, different things. That's how I come up with stay focused on abstract, and then passionate about abstract. That's the reason why. So basically, does your work just kind of reflect what you're going through, or just a way of expressing you know something about yourself i can say it's both both way you know sometimes a, a painting like i don't even think what i'm doing but i say, oh, you know what i'm gonna do something imagine i just like a demo imagination i take my brush paint and then it's okay i'm gonna put everything in the cabin so that's it and then lately i stay i mean like five minutes to look at what i'm doing and say oh okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna draw about the universe, you know, or talking about human means in, in different way. Mm -hmm. That's the way I came from with when I'm thinking about doing my art, both ways. 
Hi. And Sarah, you said that you sang from church youth to school. What kind of songs do you sing? Do you focus on R&B or um, hip hop? What what genre of music do you focus on? Okay, for for the church group, we focus on gospel songs because it's church, obviously. <laughs> and when I sing in school, I sing with different bands. I, I sing with the Soul Review, uh, gospel choir in school, a cappella, um, band, um, jazz band, yeah. And Soul Review is my favorite because you choose whatever song you want. Like, can be jazz, can be classic. We sing music that has meaning, you know? Like, we don't sing like, like, how do I say that? Like, bling bling. We don't sing this kind of music. We sing music from our from our we art. Rap or hip hop or something. We, we don't sing like <laughs> rap or hip hop. We sing like classic okay. music. A good example of that would be Era James, like James Brown, um, James Brown, like those kind of music, like classical '90s music. We sing in, with jazz band and with soul review. We could mix it together. We can make it our own. You know, that's why I like it better. And with gospel choir, it's in the school and it's called gospel choir, obviously. We sing gospel songs. And also, a cappella, we make our own. Like, we take modern music and make it our own because it's a cappella. So, I sing a little bit of each. I don't really have a favorite. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, are you a solo artist or do you go mainly with a group? Um, can you tell us a little bit more? I do it all. I sing solo sometimes, I sing with a partner sometimes, and sometimes I sing with group. Yeah. And singing in group, I need to kind of teach my sh myself more about it because I know cho chorus help, but I kind of go overboard sometimes. <laughs> I mean, when you feel in the music, I guess, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give it all. <laughs> um, yes. You were gonna say something. Yeah, only one thing I'm gonna say. Uh, not one thing. To add in my things, I forget. Uh, not forget. I do. I write poetry. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I write poetry most likely. I love doing that. That's the same art too, but abstract. Everything is abstract. You know, people can understand. Oh, what, what? What do you mean when you say something that way? That way? Because you know, I don't know if you. Back then, if you know, I mean, at school, I learned um, fab, something like French dissertation. Mm -hmm. So, like fable, like something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if you know the way they talk, they don't talk basically, say, oh, if I want to say, oh, Freddie, you know what, I don't like the way you talk to me. Like that, you know, like a revolutionary way to talk, but I don't go to you. I use animals, I use nature. That's kind of abstract to write an abstract. And so, writing songs, helping people about songs. I do a couple of, about art things. I really touch my hand in everything. And I remember when she was like, Lilo, and she, she's, she's like singing. Every morning, she keeps singing in my head and I was sleeping, always yelling at her. Oh, uh, um, quiet all the time, you know? And she said, ah, no, like a bird, you know? <laughs> Yo, you need to fix your voice or, you know? I mean, clean your voice because I don't, and now practice make better. I'm really proud of her. You know, I like when she sings, and I like when she be my companion when I'm writing my songs. Or it's how I want you put the voice on that beat, put your voice or think about it. Oh. That's good. <laughs> so yeah. you guys are here just to take over. <laughs> huh? <Thank you. laughs> yeah. um, this question kind of go for both the both of you. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest influence um, to paint, or rather to write poetry, or to sing? So, what is the biggest influence in your life that um, persuades you oh, to do that? That's good. The funny things I'm really bad at looking for other artists, but I like to read too mm -hmm. about other artists. But they have um, about writing, and then he's an artist too, a Haitian artist called Frank Etienne. He's a big legendary artist from Haiti. They have a couple of them too, but he's my favorite because his text really deeply abstract. And people don't think in that way. You know what I mean? Because the way he talk with government or uh, women. But I like talking about women and my job like a woman stuff. I like, I like women. So yeah, so um, Frank Etienne is a one of artists I really, really love. I love him a lot, and his story really dope too. He's a one of my 
um, favorite artist and influence. And then the other artist um, is a woman again. <laughs> I mean, the first one is a woman. The woman is a uh, Lori Lorene Lorene is a Haitian artist too. He she lives in Florida. Is an artist abstract, you know. And then her art inspired me a lot, a lot, a lot. So those two artists, I mean, they have a lot of other artists too, mm -hmm. but those two, writing and painting, I love them. And you said? Okay, for me, what influenced me to like keep going with my singing is mostly where I grew up. Where you grew up? Yes. Can you I, tell us a little bit more? Yes, I grew up in, I grew up in Cité Soleil. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a place in Haiti that nobody really care about and I grew up there and I remember I had to move from house house to house living with stepmothers and all that and I remember I don't remember his name but he sings this song that says Vini Avemwe Vini Avemwe Oh Janista Janista <laughs> Yes <laughs> Janista yes and he's a big influence in me like trying to like keep go keep on going with my singing because I used to move from house to house even though I my family lived in Cité Soleil you know but then they didn't want to leave me there because of the situation and how the place was. So I had to leave my family moving from houses to house. And this song kept me going. Like it for me, behind my head, it was like a song, a calling, a call for my family saying Vini Avem because I couldn't really stay with them. I couldn't really gr stay growing up with my brothers and stay with my mom and my dad in the place that they were since I was the only girl and they had to move me from people's house you know, to be safe from where they, they were living. And that kept me going. And I, and since then, I remember I was six years old. I can never forget this song. I still have the whole song in my head, <laughs> even though I forgot <laughs> the artist's name sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good, I remember that, that time we were traveling a lot. And God bless. So God's always with us and the family because even though, stuff happened people think about haiti stuff like that mm -hmm. you know what i mean but we have a lot of good people to take care of like she have influence about that artist johnny star and i got two artists too and then for the what i said like he talked about those kind of things so you know about the situation the country and a woman things um that's really really good and then that was good. I remember that time, and she was little, and you know, I still remember. I anyway, <laughs> anyway I remember, yeah, because we tried to, because that place was a cafe after Cité Soleil. is a I heard people. I don't know if you know that if you check in the news or YouTube things, you think the bad things. People think bad things about Cité Soleil things. So about a ghetto, most likely, mm -hmm. but they tried to fight for their own right or their own stuff because people for the government most likely. Forget them. They use them when the election, for example. So I, I we go like a little bit behind <laughs> the thing, but to tell you where the way we came from, basically our talent. And then since seven years old, I start drawing because I can't afford painting. Mm -hmm. And then seven, drawing my mom like poetry. I remember even that really well. But you look like same mouth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then keep going like that. And then we spent try to survive her because she was little. They got all their friends' father, like Kafu. That's the way we finish our, I mean, school, everything. After Cité Soleil, we dropped to Kafu. And then she was a Kafu, and I was still in Cité Soleil with my mom and dad and my other brother, you know. And then I remember that time, we were really, really suffering things. But lately, That's God cool. bless. Yeah, God bless us. Lately, after a couple of things, we joined us together around 2003. 2003, yeah. we grow, stay, yeah, I mean, the rest Kafu. of the life in Kafu. Mm -hmm. That's the way, most likely, because the city is an artist city. Every kid, even like three years old, five, when I say three years old, for real, you will sit next to the river called River Ford, Kafu. People from Haiti probably know that thing, probably, I don't know if you know that. <laughs> but I know it. So, people like six kids, six years old, singer, sculptor. 
painter, mm -hmm. writer, all those artists, big artists, like Paris, from like Kafu. They basically the way I came from, you call like countryside. Most likely, I spend my time in the mountain, listen to the uh, fairies, like trees and the birds mm -hmm. in the morning. That that those kind of things inform me to want to do my art. Mm -hmm. The colors, because I love color. <laughs> Me, you know what I mean? And then probably she copied those birds. That's what she like to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's always good to see, um, you know, for young Haitians, the background of where you're coming from. Because, again, a lot of people are coming from the south. When they come from the south, they feel bad. But yeah. nous même nous prend ça nous the things you've been through and then nous mettez you turn it into a positive so that's a good thing that's really a great thing for you guys Thank and you. I'm happy for that. Um, I want to ask you so when you're drawing and painting, what kind of technique do you use? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, like I said, it depends. Sometimes um, if I want to do something and I don't know what come in my mind. But I want to do it. People talk to me. Oh, you see, I'm still on the thing. So the technique I use, um, sometimes, if I'm drawing, mm -hmm. the, uh, I use a pencil like um, how you call that? And I can see people like a picture somewhere, and it's like, okay, then if I take that picture and I can put it, I can make it something different, or like if I get face, like black ladies, you know, black ladies. So and take that face, I can change it for something different. I can make her that face like a freedom. Lady, I can make it like something different. That kind of technique I use most likely. And then, and then painting, um, what I do, I use um, for the colors most likely. I just come the color come in my mind most of the time because I grew up like that. I don't have it. Never have a teacher tell me hey, you know what do this do that. But my mind told me, oh, well, if you use that that color, can match to give you that color. That's kind of technique I use. I follow my heart, my mind, and in action. Those kind of things. Do you play an instrument or I, as well or no? I don't want to. Because <laughs> I was just thinking if you play an instrument and then, you know, you're singing just because you guys are taking over the yeah. artist <laughs> world. <laughs> the funny things, I love music. I mean, art, basically. I love music. Mm -hmm. I bought an instrument, a guitar. I love guitar. I bought the guitar for like three years ago. <laughs> I, know only, I, know, I, know, I know only like four notes in there. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest, I don't know. I keep bling bling all the time. I love music, but no, what I'm about not. You, Sarah? I really get an well, instrument. I tried guitar. That that was a mess, and <laughs> now now I'm learning piano. Getting the yeah, next Alicia Keys. Oh. <laughs> I would say the next Sarah Dia or the next oh. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, are you guys hoping to turn this into a career, or is it just a hobby for you guys? I mean, me, or what? Like, Alan, <laughs> Alan said that. The lady, the ladies first. Okay. At this time. So <laughs> for now, it's a hobby because we need support and all that, you know. But I'm thinking of school first, and then that will come later. I will. I wouldn't say later, but it will be alongside with school because I still do it like little things with my talent. I still sing in church you know and sing in school and I'm, I'm thinking of still going with that in school too when i go to college and it's a hobby for now for now but i think it will grow bigger once i get the support i need like in school just college okay yeah me first <laughs> and um, second yeah. <laughs> um, well I, w I would choose both I will take a hobby right now because, um, you know, when you just came a another country for another country, you mean to survive, I mean, to help yourself about the activities, about the things. Mm -hmm. So I use it for a hobby, but God knows I really want to be a carrier. Painting all the time. My dream is about that, just paint, 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 drawing, writing things in my mind. And then I can go all their country to help all those people. Probably I can paint a lot, sell those, money come over, donation to other kids. Because I know the way I come from, how, how it is, I can help people in my country. Mm -hmm. and I can help people in other country. Probably kids. You know what I mean? 
kids and a woman so I love women. No. <laughs> yeah. I sure hope would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> kids. I, I mean that's that's my that's my dream basically. But these are hard for me right now. But I really want to do thing for a career. Um painting for the rest of my life. Every day, every day, every day wake up painting. Go to see the campus painting. One thing that you said that you wanna go so you can help other countries and other people. Yeah. How do you hope to do that through your art? How is that? The, okay, that's a good question. First, um, about my paint, mm. that, 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 that's, what, it gives me a good idea. That's the point I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's the point I'm gonna explain my story in the art. Say how I can help others. And a simple print, I don't actually, oh, what does that mean? Oh, I'll, that's mean that country, or oh, just be those people. You know, mm. and then how I know I can sell those art. Mm -hmm. I can give for gift, but sell them because the money they will give it to me, save to buy more materials mm -hmm. and help others. Even I can sell it by a dollar mm -hmm. a day or send for ten a month. For example, I'll give you an example. Those kind of way I'm thinking to help other people. You know, paint. Probably I can ask too for donation. Mm -hmm. Some people, I mean, most likely. Um, people expect you you need to be big mm -hmm. to invest on you, but they don't know like you start at the bottom to go high because all other artists you see they are famous right now. You know, for example, um, Pablo Picasso. That's a one of the legendary artists everyone knows about him. He sat in the bottom. People doesn't know him before. So when he's dead, we see now he's been famous. Mm -hmm. You know, but I don't hope when I'm that people are gonna know me. I hope <laughs> when I'm still alive, people will know me, and then help to help others. That's my prayer to help all the kids, all their country, include my country to Haiti, the where I came from. You know so you I mean? mean by just drawing your story that would inspire others to go after their dreams? Is that yes? That's okay. Um, and you say. Um, with your singing, what do you, where do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, I wouldn't run on saying I'd like like huge stuff because I really don't know yet, you know. But I'll start by little by little and see where I go, mm -hmm. you know. And the dream is to always help, you know, help others. But like I said, school comes first, like. With my career, that will have to come first. And with my singing, I can help other people. I can sing at events for others. You know, I can help in every in any way. Like if you, if somebody want my help, like to sing for them at any event, I can do it. You know, that would be like a side thing. But I want my school to come first and my first career choice to come first. You know, and that is. <clears throat> I want to be a neonido, you know, working with babies and all that. And I also want to be a tra like traveling the world, you know, to help pregnant women in other countries. Like, because I know some places, even in Haiti, and I know there are other places where women, they're giving birth in bad conditions and they don't know how to take care of the babies. I love babies. <laughs> they don't know how to really, the person know, you know, that they're gonna have baby, but when the baby come out, they don't really know how to take care of. It. And I wanna tra travel, you know, help those people in need, mostly babies, you know. Well, it seems like you guys are a dynamic duo, and I wish you all the very best. I just have one last question for you too, um, for Mark. Like, how do you know when a painting is finished? Like, this is it. That's my masterpiece. How do you know that? That's a good question too. So a um, couple of days ago, I was thinking about that question you should ask. Um, for me, mm -hmm. painting never finished. Mm -hmm. When I do a painting, it's never finished. Probably mm -hmm. not, another artist will know that. I can't say, you know what, at that point, I'm done. That's my idea. I will say, okay, I'm gonna um, paint the hands, I mean freedom, come from for like a chain. And then when I, the, another artist come over and say, are you done? Say, yeah, that's I'm done. That's my idea. I'm done. People will like it. People will go uh, another. Will say, oh, you know what? 
you know, um, I would put, I would put more. I would put another, uh, for example, other people hold that hand. I would, put, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, an art never finishes for me. So, to I know, is even not my idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for your, for your question is, so and painting, always. yeah, because you all, you can always improve give it. and prove more in the art. Mm-hmm. Probably the main artist can say, I'm finished with that point. The masterpiece is done, but another artist, artist can come over and then said, "Oh, if you, what do you think if you put that one this way, or if with that color, add that color in it, I mean you'll be like more masterpiece, more master masterpiece." So that's why I mean art never finishes. Well, thank you. thank you. Wow. Well, thank you. Um, thank you guys for coming here. Um, I also want to let everyone know that Mark has a show coming up. Um, it is the date is. March 30th until April 18th. Um, on March 30th, it will be at 7 p.m. There's, a, there's an exhibition here at SCAT TV. Um, so I don't know if you want to say anything about the show um, or if you just want to leave it to the audience to come and see your beautiful art. Um, so so what, what do I said? I would say, um, I hope everyone come up. I'm waiting for all of you. All of you. I'm waiting for all of you. So come over and support me, support my work, support everyone in sports captivity. Thank you. And you also have a second show um, with raw artists oh, yeah. as well, um, an exhibition. I, I, you're doing big things already. Yeah, that's, that's a blessing. <laughs> so um, <laughs> just everyone, please come and support these two um, with the art. They just these two young Haitians trying to just make a career out of the talent and skills instead of going out there and just turn the they turn the um, experiences into a positive thing so please come and support them thank you for watching We're waiting for you <laughs>